वेलकम बैक टू सॉलिड वर्क एंड एनसी ट्विटर यूट्यूब चैनल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू एंड हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन इन दिस सॉलिड वर्क डेवलपमेंट ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सॉलिड वर्क डेवलपमेंट गजट्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एंड कैप्स एंड वट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इट इन डेवलपमेंट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस सिंपल वेलमेंट टेबल एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फीचर ऑफ गजट्स एंड एंड कैप्स सो लेट स्टार्ट so first of all we are going to select this top plane go to sketch and we are going to make the center rectangle with the length of 350 by 200 mm like this and now simply go to exit sketch so now we will use uh, weldment 3d sketch as i have explained this 3d sketch in detail in the previous videos i will provide the link in the description so now i have just simply selected this line and i have selected this point and i have made this line now you can uh, uh, make this line horizontal by selecting this make along x axis make along y and make along z so this is the vertical line so we are going to make it along y axis so along y i have select this so this is now vertical and straight so select small dimension from here and give it the value of 150 mm now again uh, repeat the same procedure for other three legs of the weldment table like this so now i will select this line again and repeat the procedure as you can see the y z written on the pointer it means that you are now drawing in the y z plane so in the 3d sketch you have to look at where you are drawing because you can draw anywhere in the interface using 3d sketch so now again select this line make the horizontal line <laughs> along the y axis like this and give it the dimension of 150 mm select okay and exit the 3d sketch so now we have the basic basic sketch of weldment table now simply we will enable the weldment environment go to structural members from here and from here we are going to select the iso square tube and 20 cross 20 cross 2 square tube so you can also made your custom profiles i have explained it in the previous video and how you can make the custom profile like this so you can watch the video from there so in this tutorial we are just simply going to use a square tube so select the four edges to make your group of structural members like this so once your close sketch have been selected and your profile has been made now you will simply go to new group and select the legs like this so from here you can see that your leg is not fully aligned so you can select this point for corner treatment and select the trim order from 1 to 2 so now you can see that it is perfectly aligned and the angle has been made now you will repeat the procedure for other three legs like this and again select this corner treatment select the value of 2 select okay from here and now you can see that our weldment table is ready you can also add the weld bead at the edges you want to weld like this so now our table is ready but the table is little weak and it's not strong so to increase the strength of the table we have to add the gazette so it act as a support to the two faces or two members so this is a gazette property manager there are two types of profile first one is triangular profile and other one is polygonal profile in the polygonal profile you have 3d and you can adjust it accordingly like 
I am going to select D3 from here. So now from here you can see that the distance between two vertical lines have been increased. If I will select this rectangular profile, so the right triangle have been made. I am going to use polygonal profile from here. So this one is the thickness of your gadget. If I will increase the thickness, you can see that the thickness have been increased and this one is for the both side and if I will select this it will make at the inner side of the faces and it will make at the outer side of the faces so better is that you have to select the both sides so now select ok from here and repeat the procedure for other faces like this select ok so now like this you can made the gadget on the other legs. Now I will tell you about the end caps. So as you can see that whenever you added the structural profile or structural member your face have been opened. So if you want to close these faces like if this is hollow and you want to close this face you don't have to select this face and go to sketch and then extrude it you can do it from here but uh, in the developments there is the easy option of using end caps so I will simply select this face and you can see the end cap has been made according to our dimension if you want to increase or decrease the thickness you can increase or decrease the thickness from here like this so there are three types of uh, thickness directions like first one is outward and second one is inward and third one is internal you can see that the cap is made internal so if you want to make these edges round as your profile simply go to corner treatments select fillet <laughs> so by using this corner treatment you can see that you can make the end cap looks like your profile like this so I will select ok from here and you can see that our end cap is ready so you can make the end cap for all other faces like this you can select multiple faces from the leg uh, now again simply go to corner treatment select fillet from here and select ok so once your uh, weldment table or profile is ready so I haven't add the other gadgets because it take time so you will get bored of the video therefore you can add the gadget according to your dimensions so now if you want to insert these caps or gadgets into the separate parts you will go to the cut list so as you can see that these are the cut list for the scale tube that this one is the first part second part third part and fourth part you can simply add the this part into the separate part select insert into new part from here select cut list properties and select the file name to save it like this and select ok from here so now you will see that your part has been separated like this so you can also assemble these parts or if you want to make the make the drawing of the separate parts you can use this cut list and select it into the insert into the new part so like this you can also uh, save the other caps or gadgets like this so this was a simple tutorial on solidworks weldment gadgets and end caps i have completed the course of solidworks weldment using structural members custom profiles trim extended commands and all the basic features of weldments so the next course we are going to start is of surfacing i will share the contents too so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos